primary school and then St. Mary's National School. Um, I didn't even speak a word of English, not a word, so I had to kind of learn a word a day, one word a day, and then after a couple of months, my English improved. Like Hurling is just it's the fastest game on the planet. There's just so much skills involved in it, and that's the one thing I love about it. And it was a big challenge for me because it's not an easy sport. It's not like soccer, put a ball on the ground and you can kick it, gain it, throw the ball and you can boot it up in the air and catch. But hurling, you have to be patient to be a hurler. Otherwise, you know, it's not an easy game. But once you get into it, you play for the rest of your life. You, you, you love the game. Why not a 20 seconds? That's much better than that. Yeah, I don't fight. Marion. Oh, I don't know. That's fine. I'll share it. 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 Oh, sorry. Any back? How are you? How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. 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 Family moved to Dublin because a few of the older brothers got jobs in Dublin, and then a few of them were starting in college as well. And my sister and that. Because after making so many friends, and then you're leaving them behind again. But I think because through the through the GAA and Gaelic and all that, one the week I made loads of friends again, and they're like, "Oh, you come to Thomas Davis, join us." You know, ninety percent of the people that played in Thomas Davis were all all ball skills. So I said, "It's probably handier. I just join Thomas Davis." Playing with Leitrim, it's, it's tough because the, the travelling, the commitments that's in it, it's, it's a lot. I've been trying to play with the club as well. Luckily, I play with Leitrim and the club, and then I have I miss, I miss probably one club game a year. So it's not, it's not too bad, and same with all the Leitrim lads. They don't, I don't think, I think they hardly miss a club game, so they play with their club and county. They put number of in every week, you know, trying to three times a week. Yeah, trying to set the train in every week. Ah, look, it's not, the Dublin dog, the catchment area, all going go all the way to our right? <laughs> we went down play for Larry Maher, that was our championship, so it's, we always say championship is championship, it doesn't matter what level it is. And other teams like Dublin and like Kilkenny and all that, they play for the Liam McCarthy Club, that's their championship. Dr. P. Ronald McIntyre and Matt Dogg's chance to bring a penalty, so she's in soccer, that's the Kind of disappointed, you know yourselves, like any fellas on the bench, they're always disappointed when they're not starting, but at the same time, when you come on, you have to perform. It was, I think it was about eight minutes left or something, with four or five down, and then like, there was me and Stephen Goldrick. Uh, we, we came on, they thought we made probably the subs that came on made a difference. And Kipperley then saw uh, Ibra Fiha, Zach Murray, the gig, Paul Ray, Kotak, their board come on. There was about a minute left, we're three points down, and I gave a lovely pass to James Glancy. Out of all the people, he's a centre back, he's never used him before. I don't know how he ended up there, just wrong. And, ah, you know, I was about to take a point myself. So he buried in there, and that was when I went to the extra time. I just thought, you know, we had them this time, their fitness was kind of gone. We were kind of a younger team left on the pitch. He had left a lot of debt on Russia, a shot throwing Zach Moradi. I had my chance and you know I scored a, a nice point when we needed it. Give to my Louis May, Thomas David, the Malakia, as the ref for Dulka Shagas, Fashin to pay a colleague in August, um, you know, Tans Gilligan. But uh, it was an amazing feeling that day when we you know, had a good party down the Carrigan Channel for a week. Zach started playing hurling in primary school. The only language he spoke was football, to be honest with you. Every time we had a match and every time we finished training, there's the only thing he'd come up to me and ask, training? This is our All-Ireland, you know, we celebrate now for the next week or two, you know, so this is our All-Ireland, that's what we train for all year round and we eventually done it, so, so this uh, it's one of the proudest days of my life.